the point, formative, entertaining, and protecting the Second Amendment. Welcome back to Elster's Rifles and Reloading. And yet again, another test long digital board scope. <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys can learn what the heck's going on in Elster's Rifles and Reloading world. Three by 36 inch flexible 10 inch rigid pistol and now the 26 inch rigid digital bore scope that comes with its own viewing screen. As a matter of fact, I'm so, so impressed with this particular setup that I decided to make its own dedicated workstation right at my bench because it's so darn easy. Just plug and play, ready to rock and roll. There's no screw around with Wi-Fi. There's no screwing around with USB. It is more expensive at $130 shipped currently as of 923-2020, but it's something that I was so impressed with with its plug and play features. It's something I could just throw in my range bag and go head out to the range in case I need to do that. I'm impressed. So enough of the BS talk. Let's get this going. Like I said, I was so impressed with this. Uh, I decided to make this cradle for the viewing screen, another cradle for the uh, boroscopes itself. You know, something that I can just literally unplug, take this right out, go to the range, come back, put this back in its own cradle. And if I want to use this at my bench, I can. I can take this out. I can easily have this right in front of me. Here I'm at my bench. Uh, usually what I'll do is I'll zoom this all the way in. Uh, I'll usually have this right out of the gate on video mode. Say like, for example, I want to check out this AR's gas port. You know, I'll usually gauge that. I'll insert this down, rifles bore, something right about there. That gas port should be right around here. And there it is. And man, it is as clear as could be. And that's why I have this set up just like this. I mean, this is right in my face. It is crystal clear. Um, and, you know, if I want, I could take uh, a video of this. So I can hit record. So I'm recording this gas block. So you guys can see this right now. I'll have this spliced in. And, <laughs> you know, I can plug this back up and charge it and you're going to notice here on the screen uh, if i unplug this cable here turn this off and i can plug this into my computer you can see it will start charging here start blinking red and i can actually turn this on and you'll notice it's going to come up right away on my screen if I want to take the videos and pictures off of it. So to have something like this that's dedicated, plug and play, easy to go, wow. You guys at Teslong are really doing your homework. Now this specific model here, the 26 inch long rigid flavor with the viewing screen, which I actually noticed it's actually 27 inches up to the mirror itself. They are selling this for 130 bucks, which the fact that this comes with its own viewing screen is just a phenomenal deal. And it does measure down to 0.2 on the diameter of the digital bore scope itself. So you can use this all the way down to a 22 LR firearm for pure example. Now, in my personal opinion, you do get a heck of a lot more control out of this rigid model, but you gotta be careful inserting this down your rifle's bore. You obviously don't wanna damage your firearm. And I think you're fine and you can do it. You just obviously don't wanna ram this thing down or ram it back home. So with that being said, you do get a lot of control on this and it's phenomenal. And if you are concerned with damaging your rifle's bore, they do make the exact same setup with a flexible 36 inch long bore scope. And that also measures down the 0.2. So you can use this also on a 22 LR firearm for pure example. And it comes with the exact same viewing screen. And this is $100, which is a phenomenal price. So once again, way to go test long. Now in this video review, I'm using the PSA 20 inch 6.5 Grendel stainless steel AR upper and I think Teslong, they're purposely giving you a really nice box here. So you can use this for storage purposes. If 
you're not like me and make this cheesy wood cradle and all this stuff. They are purposely giving you a really nice box here for storage purposes. And I notice it has some nice magnets in here, so it kind of snaps shut by itself. So that's really cool. And there's foam padding inside, so you can definitely use this box for storage purposes. Uh, you know, there's some alcohol swabs in here with some micro Q-tips, uh, extra mirrors. So if you happen to damage the tip that already comes installed on the borescope, you can get that replaced right out of the box. And obviously this little kickstand here. So if you want to display your viewing screen, you don't have the ambition to make this cheesy little plywood cradle you could actually obviously use this right on your reloading bench or if you want to take this out to the range i mean obviously there's a manual or instructions here but i'm going to be honest with you there really is no point in me even showing to you this this thing is so intuitive and easy to use if you can use something like a hunting cam you can definitely use this and you really don't need to be an expert on computers or even know what usb or wi-fi is to use this viewing screen so once again, I think Tesla keeps on knocking this out of the park. And just to show you how easy plug and play this thing is, I mean, just turn the unit on and you just plug this thing in, you're done. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you're someone that is not good with computers, you don't, you don't even know what USB is or Wi-Fi, this is definitely the model for you. And if you have someone in mind that doesn't know how to really use computers at all, but is huge into firearms, reloading, this would make an amazing, amazing Christmas gift. But I figured rather than me showing you here at the bench, this is definitely a setup that you can use at your bench, but something you can throw in your range bag and take out to the range. So I figured rather than showing you here at the bench, let's take this out in the backyard. And we'll get some glare on here from the sun and you guys can make a decision for yourself. All right, so I am physically in my backyard here and I just wanted to give you guys a realistic expectation of what this is like outside, something maybe out at the range. I know some of you bench rest rifle shooters, maybe F-class shooters might want to take this right out to the range with you. And I wanted to get some glare on this screen to give you an idea of what this is like. But right now, this is set up in camera mode. You can see there's a little camera icon up here. I can hit mode, and you can see that switches over to video. Hit this again, I can do playback. So that looks really cool. And you can actually play these back right on the device. So let me keep this in camera mode for right now. And you can zoom in here. So this is the furthest south zoom. I hit this, it zooms in to the middle and zooms in the most and then sets back over. Um, so this flips the image up and down. And usually I would probably just zoom this in as far as you can get it. So let's get going on this. And let's check out this crown while we're outside here. And this is really cool. The fact that you can throw this right in your range bag and head out to the range is a real benefit for some of you guys that even reload right out at the at the range. You know, you want to check out your rifle's bore. Maybe you think you're having an issue. This is something, if you can throw it right into your range bag, it's nice to have. And let me take a photograph of this so let me hit photo so i'm going to try and get a clear picture of that i just took a picture of that i'll splice that into the video and then let me switch over to video mode and i'm going to start recording right now so let's follow this one individual rifling right down to the lands and that's where this widget as a matter of fact, there is the gas port. That's a good looking gas port. There's not a lick of erosion on that thing. So let's follow this one rifling right down to the lands. And this is where this rigid bore scope really comes into play. You can see I got some good old uh, carbon following there. I should probably clean this up a little bit. Matter of fact, let me zoom in here. I see this resets once you go to video mode. So let me zoom in here. So let me go all the way down to the lands of this 
particular rifling. And there's the lands of that particular rifling and that those lands look buttery smooth. And this is the PSA 6.5 Grendel. Looks like I do have a good carbon ring on here. So I think I definitely need to clean up this rifle's bore. And that's where, in my opinion, a good marksman, a true marksman really should have a bore scope so they fully know what's going on with the rifle's chamber and the bore. And I can go all the way down and check out the lugs. Started the chamber, started the shoulder. And here is the end of the chamber or the end of your, where your casing would be and the free bore, the rifling's lands. And let's follow this particular rifling up to the muzzle. And that's where these rigid bore scopes are really handy. As long as you're careful treat it like a cleaning rod so you don't damage your rifle's bore you should be fine and that's kind of where the flexible model if you're really concerned about scratching or damaging your rifle's bore with a bore scope like this you might want to consider that option but as long as you're nice and careful you should be good to go with these rigid models and i'm actually becoming quite a fan of them with how much control you get out of this particular model, especially something like this that's plug and play. You know, some of you old timers, they're not exactly Wi-Fi uh, and USB and computer illiterate. <laughs> you want something that you can just pull out, plug and play, turn it on, plug in a cable, and it just works. This is definitely the model for you. And I think this would be a great present. Uh, if you got, say, a grandfather that's huge into shooting rifles and reloading, I really think this would be an amazing present for someone like that. And the fact that you can record directly to this unit and then take this video right off the unit onto your computer and splice it into a video if you're like a gun tuber, man, that is just awesome. So I'm back in the reloading room. I got the kickstand off viewing screen and I'm going to take the picture and video file off this unit and put it on my computer so I can check it out. Also, so I can splice it into this very video for some of you guys that are gun tubers, you might be interested in something like that. But anyways, there's a little button on the back of the unit here. Matter of fact, I will splice in a picture of that right now. You got to press down on that in order to pull this cable out. And you have to have this unplugged for the bore scope in order to get the files off. Um, I have this USB cable spliced into my laptop. And once I plug this in, you'll see that it's going to start re uh, recharging with a built-in battery. So that's really nice if you are getting low on the power. You can charge that back up. It has a built-in battery. And the second I hit power on here, you're going to notice that it's going to pop up on my screen here. You got to press and hold this. And it should pop up and recognize it right away, my screen. And it, I mean, talk about easy. I mean, just unbelievable how easy and intuitive this is. And I can just drag and drop all of these. Let me create a new folder here. Open this up. I'm going to highlight all of these and drag and drop this right in to that new folder. I'll wait for this to upload. Just give you an idea of how fast this can upload onto the built in micro SD. And it actually comes with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, which is even more phenomenal. And this is taking it right off that SD card. Now you can see on my computer let me blow this up and i can literally play <laughs> this directly on my computer or 
I can splice this obviously into this video that you guys are watching right now. now. And look how clear that port. is. Now this records in 720p. This does not record in 1080p. Uh, the pictures are 1080p, but the video is 720p. And there is some actual audio that this does record. Matter of fact, let me turn up my volume here. It's not the best so audio, down to the um, but this. you can take audio directly from the unit and it records it right on the video. So if you want to make a mental note or something, that's just a really nice feature to have. Speed this up, reverse it, pause it. I mean, it's just, all around awesome. And the fact that I can have this as a ready rock and roll, no screwing around with Wi-Fi, USB, just ready to go. I can un shut this off, unplug this, plug this back in, and then turn this back on. And it's ready to go. I mean, talk about intuitive and easy to use. Well, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, no BS review of the 26 inch rigid with viewing screen digital boroscope. And I've done so many <laughs> video reviews and actually use this during some of my live events, uh, during some of my firearm review series that I made a playlist for you guys specifically on the oh, test so long digital boroscope. And once again, they're completely knocking this out of the park. Well, if you're interested in this particular product, check out the description box below. I will have one of my Amazon affiliate links down there. So if you do click on that, make that purchase. It costs nothing to you if you're going to make the purchase anyways, but I do get somewhat of a little bit of affiliate kickback on that. It's just a couple bucks, but definitely help support my channel and this content into the future. And just another quick disclaimer here for you. This was sent to me from Tesong for free for t &E purposes, just to check it out, get my thoughts on it, and to do this video review for you guys. Other than that, if you guys enjoy this content, you enjoy my videos, scratch my back, and I'll continue to scratch your back with this amazing content by not only subscribe, like, and share, hit that notification bell. And when you do hit that notification bell, make sure you hit notification all. Become a Patreon, it helps out more than you know. And I will see you guys in the next video.